Hello guys and welcome to RC Shim. That's another form of my, uh, let's say, monthly update. Hope you enjoy this format. Today it's Sunday morning and I had to decide whether to build something in the hangar or make a video because uh, cutting videos and takes, takes quite a long time. And since I have a uh, quad half finished on the bench behind me, I decided to just make this quick update and try another one take, no cut video. Hope you like this. And yeah, for this reason I made a list for me. Yeah, first of all, I want to thank uh, all the reg regular viewers. It's really nice to upload such videos and get regular comments and discussions from, from guys I, I see from the names. Uh, so the, the viewers that I want to mention here, because they are uh, visiting this channel regularly, um, ABMNS or something like that. Uh, another black man new style was his former name, I guess. Uh, then it's Harley FPV Hotliner from from uh, nearby. Uh, also black Backyard Airways. Uh, Green Silver Doc Dos 13 from Germany. Hello. Uh, Majuet uh, Carlo from Italy, I guess. He always does nice ASCII art in the comments. Uh, of course, Pöli, uh, which I met a few times already. Dick Gibson, uh, Steve Cottrell, Scott Eller, BD Seidler, and the list could be continued endlessly. It's really nice and I really appreciate your comments and I like this aspect of the hobby to be able to talk with you guys, upload a video and then uh, have to chat or can, can chat with you in the comments just ask me anything. I really like to to communicate in this way and to to uh, work on the community or work with the community. So many nice uh, things come up. Like recently, uh, Sodrik uh, viewed one of my videos, the the tracker video, and told me I should take a look at the Arcbird thingy. Arcbird FPV, Arcbird OSD and Arcbird Tracker and I will definitely have a look at this because it looks nice and yeah just so many awesome stuff coming up here. Um, speaking of which I normally only fly multicopters because I'm lazy and I have issues with starting planes and FPV setups and so on but uh, I found this really interesting UAV platform on Banggood and I will be testing a new FPV plane maybe with the Arcbird OSD and uh, Autopilot in it and it looks funny and what caught my attention is this plane is 1.8 meters uh, wingspan has a gimbal for the FPV cam in front and what's really nice is the idea how they mount the motor. It's basically it's a ring around the, 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 rear, the rear rod and this ring is uh, gear driven from a brushless motor. So that's really nice and we will see how this works. So yeah wait to see this. Um, back to my list. Um, in the last update I told you about this super bright FPV monitor with DVR included. The Feel World 7 inch which is also sold at Get FPV uh, and the brand of Lumineer. Uh, I had some issues with not so good quality uh, on the reception side and looks like with Steve's help uh, you, you know what I mean. Um, with Steve's help uh, I could find out that the Immersion RC uh, the Immersion RC video transmitters the old ones, the not race band ones don't work so well with this receiver so it's kind of an annoyance but I will keep this monitor anyways and just use it as a as a video uh, displaying device and not use the receiver I will mount it on my 
tripod on my ground station and have the video feed from the diversity receiver from immersion. But the, the 1000 candela per square meter brightness is just awesome and I really love this. Although the sharpness is not that good. So not too sure at the moment if I do a full review on the field world, but uh, you will definitely see it uh, one, one more in the future. Um, yeah, the nice feature maybe it has a built-in battery in the back and it has this diversity and in uh, normal operation I would use the external video receiver and connect the video cable to the monitor and be in video mode and I tried if you turn off the ground station the receiver uh, the monitor automatically switches to RF mode and uses his internal uh, receivers and so you have a total backup if your ground station fails then the internal battery of the monitor will take over and also the receiver so it will be a good idea to have also antennas mounted on the monitor even if you don't use it just as a backup so that's a really nice option and of course the, the nice option of the monitor is the DVR built-in I really like it and it can be set to auto record and power up so you don't have uh, you don't get to record something so quite some nice points on it um, I also told you about the nano drones uh, I still have the video on my computer and I will cut it but yeah, I don't want to make too many boring reviews at once I want to make a nice action flight video the next so uh, it will be up and it will be the season for uh, nano drones soon because with winter coming up here it's nice to have something to fly indoors but yeah, just keep patient here uh, another big video project I'm working on is the introduction video where I want to introduce you the channels I really like and so far I got intro vids uh, from quite popular names like Danny, Boris, Ali and Hava or Hova um, trying to get more of my friends convinced to send me some files and not, not quite sure yet uh, how to start this format if I will do one big video uh, introducing many channels and examples of, that, of their work or if I will integrate them in my update videos to show one or two uh, new channels each week uh, just keep, uh, give me a comment uh, how you would prefer it uh, and I will think about this but it's definitely a nice thing coming up by I'm really looking forward to this then the other thing you see in the background is the laser arrow the nice uh, plane I introduced you in, in the last update I did a maiden uh, and I already and I also filmed something from it. It is nice, but the, the motor shaft of the original motor was bent and it had huge vibrations which, which was just not safe to fly. Uh, I tried a second flight also with 4S power, with a 4-cell LiPo and with 4-cell it's just a rocket, it's really nice. With 3-cell I tried this uh, ground starts which I saw on the internet uh, didn't work so well I have a slow move <laughs> of this mishap also but yeah it will be really a nice uh, nice fun plane and my colleagues in the field really liked it when they saw it but yeah just the vibrations killed it so I have to wait for repaired or uh, exchanged motor shaft or motor from the supplier so I'll keep you posted on this arrow laser arrow and show you a nice video once I'm confident flying with it. Maybe I will also try to FPV it, not sure about this. Yeah, and the other thing uh, I can uh, show you here is I changed a bit of the design of my hangar. Uh, basically I just mounted some steel cable with, with angles uh, mounted on the wall. So I can uh, hang my planes and my many quadcopters there to store them a bit nicer. And I also applied some picture work, old photos I really like. Yeah, if you, if you like them, if you're curious where to get them, I just did a 
Google image search with with setting to black and white and large images and search term was old planes or something like that. Really nice. I can link you uh, an album maybe with, with all the pictures I chose. It's about 10 of them and I really like them to give a bit more hangar style here. Um, yeah, what else can I tell you? Haludovo video. Have you seen my Lost Place video from Croatia? It was really nice. And I, I love to see uh, the Croatian media, uh, some online uh, online newspaper caught my video's attention or the other way around and they featured it so it got a few more views which was nice and many Croatians mourning about the hotel industry in Croatia. Um, yeah, camera, camera reviews. The last video was the review about the SJ5000. Still love it. Still didn't really uh, fly it on a, on a quad, but yeah, had limited flight time lately. Um, I will maybe also get the Foxier Legend 1 because it gets nice reviews. I saw one or two flight videos already, one in the woods. Maybe I linked it already. No, I, yeah, I linked it in the last in the flight review video. Uh, it really looks nice. It's Mobius form factor and it has, has 60 frames, which is nice. And it has the same or a similar Amarella A7 chip than this one has. So this might be the next super duper cam for all the mini quad races because the form factor is really nice, the Mobius form factor. So keep an eye on that. And it's really also not that expensive, I think 80 or 90 dollars for 60 frames, really nice. Um, yeah, and the last point on my list, uh, yesterday I viewed a nice, a nice review from 7demo7, hello Jeff. Uh, I saw the few XL video goggles which features some really nice design elements, maybe because they are developed from a product designer, I think it's Brandon, hi Brandon. Uh, it really looks nice, I mean, I will, maybe I will uh, try to review them, because I love the idea of them. They are box goggles, which I love because they are so huge uh, of, of the video view. But they can be stored quite flat, which is nice. And yeah, you can wear them as a glasses wearer because it's a flexible thingy. Uh, they have uh, a receiver built in in the monitor, nice lenses. You can wear them on the cap. Yeah, so just many nice features. Um, I really will take a closer look on this and maybe I'll do a, a bigger comparison of all the video goggles I used until now being three FedChuck models, three different, uh, the box goggles, yeah, and then the View XL maybe. So uh, might be an interesting option at least for the beginners. Uh, it's I would say it's positioned somewhere between between the Quantum V2s, which are uh, box goggles, quite cheap and between the Headplay HDs, which are a bit higher priced, so in the middle uh, $160 or something is the View XL and it's, yeah, it's, it, it looks really nice, so yeah, keep an eye on that. Yeah, and one last note on my bench. <laughs> yeah, I heard Bruce saying something about uh, to clean up his bench. Mine doesn't look good either. But this thing here is the reason why I want to keep this video short now. It's the Black Snapper Mini. Black Snapper Mini. It's a very small uh, 250 size, I think, or maybe 260. A small folding quad, folding rail squad. Um, and I tried to incorporate all the things I learned from May 32 in the last few months. I have another quad uh, that I want to review and show you soon, uh, a fast racing quad. 
And I already started on my DR Crew 250 uh, using the NACE 32 board and some of you guys helped me with the issues I had there. So I really love the NACE but uh, it didn't work uh, very easy for me at the beginning. But through all these errors I did a lot of pit tuning so uh, I gained some experience there which is nice. Pit tuning then I tried different firmwares. I came then to the clean flight and uh, the Lux float or Lux float controller which is really makes a difference um, and lately I, I chose ESCs with the one shot feature in the beginning I just thought yeah that's something for the pros that they really need but yeah, a newbie or an intermediate flyer doesn't need them but uh, they really look uh, looks like they make a difference so the quad is much more stable and can react just much more faster so one shot and active damping is the way to go with, with new quads it surely will soon be a standard for the flight controls and for the ESCs um, so I have nice ESCs here I try to make the cables as short as possible, not to have it messy as I always have. So, really looking forward to this guy being a well set up mini quad. And because it's foldable, uh, it folds down to really small size. And I plan on, on using this as my backpack quad. Yeah, just if you if you hike around something. Uh, it should be nice to have everything in your backpack, like the Taranis, the video goggles and the quad with some batteries and basically you are able to fly everywhere because uh, if we are hiking somewhere I always, and I'm, I'm sure you guys will, will feel the same, I always look at some fields or woods and say, oh man, if I only had a quad with me I could fly here, so that's the idea behind this little folding quad. Okay, so I think that was the points on the list. Thanks for watching this update video. Um, if you have some questions, some uh, suggestions, yeah, maybe if you have some suggestions what I should review or what I should take a closer look for you, just let me know in the comments. I really like and enjoy to try new stuff. Um, yeah, until then. Stay tuned for a nice and action flight video. Yeah, I did a really nice flight session uh, with Backyard Airways, who lives just 30 minutes from here. Uh, he has really a dream location just outside of his house. It's, it's really nice there. And yeah, with some mini quad chasing, which was a lot of fun. So that, that uh, made, it, made it clear for me that most of the FPV fun for me and for many guys surely comes from mini quads and these days that's that's surely one of the reason they they are so popular so um, yeah keep an eye on this so check that out okay so thanks for watching bye